but now even not today i'm thinking that i can easily get 10 to 15 lp the next year or the next year after that i still open the discord and see the new companies that they are coming so for the for two regular months companies will keep on coming and they are coming now as well the level of difficulty of questions that they reach by that time uh, i'm sometimes impressed by that when i think about it. like uh, if a person if an individual like if i would have done that on my own uh, without the mentors uh um, maybe even watching youtube tutorials would have taken me at least 4 to 5 months the next day if we are not able to solve that questions we could ask our doubts here and they could uh they help us uh understand how to approach one question in multiple different ways good afternoon everyone welcome to the echoes of talk show channel today we have a very amazing guest for you named rasan jhur rasan is a 2019 btech cs graduate He recently got placed at Surya Software at a very very good package. So today, let's welcome Rasan Jo to our channel. Welcome, Rasan. So, Rasan, when did you join in the company Surya Software? When was your joining date? Joined in second week of January this year, so around yeah. two months ago. And how has been your experience till now? It's been pretty good. Like the company, the work culture is pretty chill. The work is pretty good. There's mm-hmm. a lot of opportunity there as well. Right, and how are your seniors, your colleagues? So far, we have been working from home. I just spent one day to meet them, and that day we didn't do much. We just interacted with each other. So everyone has been good so far. Is yes, how did you get to know about AccuJob? Okay, so. I had a gap of a year and a half after my college mm-hmm. and after that I was searching for pre after placement companies and I had few options so I joined the introductory session of all of them and mm-hmm. when I took the introductory session for equity job uh yes sir took it from her yes sir took the introductory session and in that uh, it, the maybe the energy that he had maybe the reason that he was from IIT and uh it took it looked promising at that time after that introductory session and they were charging less fees than any other company as well way less fees uh at some point you can even say half than other companies so that was also a main selling point and also like uh nobody else spoke that they were helping others they were just selling materials to study or giving them jobs the way yes sir uh, portrayed that uh, they were helping a lot of people and they really are like i have been through the process i know that they have been changing life so nobody portrays it this way as well yeah like this is yeah. not the first point this is not the first reason why a company is doing this for a acu job i believe that's the first reason they are doing this so after completing yeah. your graduation like you said you have one and a half years of gap time so how did you overcome that i on my own wasn't able to do it before mm-hmm. i joined a key job and even when i joined it i had this fear that i still can't do it uh, over the first few weeks but then when we had one to one meetings with our batch manager every week even earlier if that was needed we had one to one sessions with the mentors uh, after a few weeks and even one and a half month i think i realized that yes the only thing that i have to do is learn dsa and everything else will be taken I didn't believe this at first because uh, when you have that much gap, you don't have any confidence at all. So it takes time. So with right. time, I got it. Yeah, with my mentors and managers and guides. Yeah, this happened. I think uh, the same day I started looking for a PR for placement company. So that day only. Before that, I was trying to experiment with different things. But one day I realized, okay, yes, I'm not going anywhere. Uh, and in a few years, if I if i'm doing what i'm doing i might not have a life pretty much i might not have a decent job at that time the highest i think i could have gotten was maybe 2 to 3 lp but now even not today i'm thinking that i can easily get 10 to 15 lp the next year or the next year after that so there is a big change in uh, what i can be yeah. now the confidence that i have now before and i had last year that there is a big difference between now How did you find the placement process of Acuzer? How was that process like? 
Okay, so uh, placements. Uh, on this, uh, during the introductory session, Yash uh, sir told that the companies will start coming after two months. And pretty much exactly after two months, the first company came. And once the first company came, every week, at least one to two companies were coming. And uh, I think I gave interviews at three companies. Uh, once the company started to come, for two months continuously, they were still coming. So uh, I'm not taking the course anymore, but I still open the Discord and see the new companies that they are coming. So for the for two regular months, companies will keep on coming, and they are coming now as well. Okay. And how did you find the course structure to be? Okay, so I only did the data structures and algorithms part. I got placed uh, just by doing that. And okay. I can say that about that part, uh, within two and a half months, they covered every topic there is to, for data structures and algorithms. Like uh, the level of difficulty of questions that they reached by that time, uh, I'm sometimes impressed by that when I think about it. Like, uh, if a person, if an individual, like if I would have done that on my own uh, without the mentors, uh, maybe even watching YouTube tutorials would have taken me at least four to five months. You told me that it was hard for you to complete the SN2 two and a half months because you have to put in a lot of your hard work. In. And I was a little out of practice as well because of the gap I had. So how did you yes. overcome it? Okay, so initially when I started DSC, uh, I never did DSC problems. So I thought, okay, I knew some programming. Uh, this, this won't be that hard when I start, when I started, but when I started doing problems, I realized okay, this is extremely tough. This is extremely tough. I've never done problems like this. And uh, initially, I think for the first month, I was able to do maybe one, two, or three problems in a day. And three mm -hmm. is a max of very easy problems that I was able to do. Mm -hmm. But um, I think what the best thing that I did was even if I wasn't able to solve one problem a day, I, not even one, the next day, I started solving another problem. I, every day I solve problems. That's how I work them. There's no other way to DSA. Every day you have to solve problems. You get better at it. Right. And did your mentors and your teachers at ACT, did they help you out in this process? Yes, of course. They like, uh, every day we had one adult sessions so we were given questions one initially it was one or two questions then it became two or three or four even uh, the next day if we are not able to solve that questions we could ask adults here and they could uh, they help us uh, understand how to approach one question in multiple different ways so usually there are three to four different ways to solve a problem and you have to understand all of them and uh, when they teach us, it stays in your mind rather than when you read it from a book or an article. Uh, this is also there, which happened with me, right? When I learn from them, it stick to my mind. So how life was before you joined Actio and how life changed after you joined Actio? Okay, so before joining Actio, pretty much for six and a half months, I was like, every day I used to try to study. Uh, I used to study maybe 15 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, and then I was watching movies the entire day. Or doing nothing the entire day. This was my life for uh, almost one year. And uh, after a few months, you, try, you start to realize, okay, I'm going nowhere. And you start to get uh, serious about how your life is. And uh, it, it, it's not a life of joy when you don't have a source of income as well. And now, uh, like, okay, I go to job, I do my work for eight hours, nine hours, or 10 hours. Uh, and then after that, I'm chill. I don't have to worry about anything. If I study after that for a good career, that's good. Even if I don't study now at all, I'm settled for life. If I only stay in this company, I'm settled for life. So uh, I'm chill about that. If I want to chill, I'm chill. What advice would you like to give those people who have that gap here and who are trying, you know, who are struggling? Okay, like uh, especially if you are trying to be a software developer, uh, you have to learn data structures, you have to learn the basics, and try to do as many questions as you can. And even if you can't do difficult questions at all, that's completely fine. Just do easy questions, medium level questions, and do them every day for as long as you can until you get a job. And you will get a job definitely. That I can promise. 
I hope you have enjoyed our session with Rasanjot. We hope to see you in one of our batches. Until then, take care. Goodbye.